Namaste. Welcome to Monday Bites from Chitrakas. Like the channel, share it to your friends and relatives. Subscribe the channel, write your comments in the comment box and thanks for encouraging me more videos. Hope all are safe in the heat. Please take care of you and your family and your car as well in the summer. Today, uh, last time the, the video was on cruise control. Uh, today we are talking about adaptive cruise control. Cruise control is useful for us and adaptive cruise control was launched by Mercedes-Benz in 1999. And now most of the high-end cars, most of the cars are using adaptive cruise control for the safety and for the passenger safety and as well as people on the road, their safety and lot of accident don't happen on highways etc. So what is adaptive cruise control? Adaptive cruise control is an intelligent way of working more beneficially for the driver comfort and for long distances and for maintaining speed and between the cars also. So you can set easily the way you're setting a cruise control you set and you can re fix the limit that is 120 and minimum speed of 60 or 80 you can feed and you can also on highway when you are driving you can also keep a distance between one car to the other car let's say the front car you want to keep a distance of five feet or six feet you can do it so that can also be set in the adaptive cruise control. So how it works? It works, there's a system, a camera, radar system is fitted under the bonnet, near the grill, where with the radio waves, it sends the front car and maintains the distance. Let's say you've set at 10 feet or five feet, it will maintain continuously. And as well, you have fixed the maximum limit and the lower 120 and 80. So when you are driving, if suddenly some cars comes, so it will keep a distance of five feet and it will reduce the speed and automatically braking will happen. Then once the road is free, it will again take off to 120 speed. So you don't have to press the pedal or the brake. It, it takes care of the car and the road by itself because it is intelligent. It is more superior than cruise control, adaptive cruise control. This will help you to drive safe on long distances, not feel tired while you're driving on highways. So this is used also, the benefit of this is also like when you're driving and when you're changing lane without indicator. If there is blind spots for your car, there's some other object, a car or a scooter or something there, it will indicate with the radar to the side, sense and indicate you by a beep by an alarm and as well as tell you that you are changed there is a blind spot there is something else which which might hit your car that is one second thing is there is always like you are driving you are driving on a lane that is 120 speed uh, 180 speed for example if you are changing the lane and without indicator it will also beep up and tell you give you a warning that you are shifting your lane without giving indicator. So there's always chances that you get into an accident. So this intelligent system is useful for all of us for driving long distances, as well as in traffic when you are bumper to bumper in city. If you can set, keep a distance of one feet, two feet from every car in bumper to bumper without, you know, pressing your accelerator or brake, you can drive cruise through in the traffic also. The disadvantages of adaptive cruise control is it should be used by intelligent driver and it will take time for you to get adapted to adaptive cruise control. Then suddenly there are other things which you know if if you put a sudden break the person behind will not know that you are using adaptive cruise control he might bang in. These are the advantages and disadvantages of adaptive cruise control. Anytime you want to have any more information on any of the features, if you want, please call me. Happy driving, safe driving. Think of cars, think Chitra cars.